Well, hello, good evening, good evening, welcome. I uh, haven't done this in a long time. I'm excited tonight to get back to the authentic, authenticity. I had a problem saying that word Sunday at church, but authenticity of, of um, talk radio. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Pastor Christina C. Strunk. I bring you greetings from North Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, pastor of the filling station here in the Las Vegas Valley. I came on tonight to uh, bid you greetings, tell you Happy New Year. You know, the church has um, been recording and we've got some um, recordings up of the church. But tonight, I just want to talk to you. Is that all right? I just want to speak tonight. I was driving today and I'll just go ahead and dive right in. Um, uh, Like one of my friends says, he always does a podcast, a, a video, and he says, let's just dive right in. Let's not wait But the Lord was telling me, and I feel the Holy Spirit on my tongue even now as I begin to tell the story. The Lord was sharing um, his voice with me. He was sharing his voice. He was sharing uh, himself with me as he does all the time for us. And sometimes, oftentimes, we take for granted that he wants to share himself with us, that he wants us to be a part of a movement, a mighty movement here on earth. Oh, glory to God. He wants us to be a mighty movement. He wants to use our vessels of clay, these earthen jars of clay, to be a movement. I was driving today. I took one of my sons some lunch and I was driving down Cheyenne uh, here in Las Vegas. And there's a chicken uh, place on the corner. And I said to myself with my greedy self, I said, God, they got to be dropping some fresh chicken right about now. It's the lunch hour. I'm going to drive down there right in the vicinity from me coming from work, driving to his job and then driving back to work. Just didn't make a U-turn on Cheyenne. I had two opportunities. I'm telling you this for a reason. I'm a pastor now. Been ordained. Come on, uh, try to leave a con- try to live a consecrated life. Try to understand uh, uh, what the Lord is saying that the Lord has afforded me to understand and open up some mysteries to me. Come on, I, I want you to know that there's no respect of person. But the Lord said to me, he gave me two opportunities to turn the car around. He said, turn the car around, turn the car around. And I just became like a zombie, but I was hell bent on going that way. Well, I missed the light. And so when I missed the light, I said, well, let me turn. Well, I missed the turn. I had to make another U-turn. And I and 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 after he told me twice, gave me two opportunities to turn the car around, I did not. So I, I eventually ended up going into the store, went into the store. And um, when I got in the store, the man said, we don't have um, the, the kind of chicken that I was asking for, that we don't have that. Um, I can I can drop this for you, but it's going to be an, an additional 10, 10 to 15 minutes. I said, no, I got to get back to work. Y'all don't have what I'm looking for. Now, I got back in my car and the Lord did not say anything. No, no voice was prompted. Nothing. What he said to me while I was driving down Cheyenne back to work is that our ears, he said, is not that you were in fault, but your ears have waxed cold. He said, this is what happens to the children who decide not to obey me. Their ears wax cold. What if there was an accident? What if there was a car pile up? What if something would have happened? What if there was a robbery? What if there was, what if something going on that I was trying to protect or prevent you from, but you couldn't hear me because you wanted what you wanted. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. The Bible says in uh, Matthew uh, uh, 13 and in, um, 14, 13, 14, it says, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Esaias, which is Isaiah that says, uh, a hearing ye shall and not understand not perceive shall see, uh, and, 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 and not, per, excuse me, and seeing ye shall perceive and perceive and, and, and shall not perceive. Come on and perceive not for the people's heart is waxed gross and their ears are dull of hearing. We cannot hear the spirit of God. Talk to us. He said, and their eyes have closed 
blessed at any time, they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. Did you hear that? We have to be convert. Our ear gates have to be converted. And I'm not talking about the little wax irrigation system that you do to get the wax build up out. No, I'm talking about the wax, the iniquity that has your ears stuck. I'm talking about the dullness that has you thinking that you can lean to your own understandings. I'm talking about the spirit of the living God that says, don't do something and you do it anyway. And you move anyway. You're moving outside of his will. Oftentimes we move outside of his will. That's when things begin to happen to us. And so we begin to reap a harvest of disobedience. Like my son said, you, you begin to reap a harvest of disobedience because you have a tendency to continue to be disobedient. Come on. When Joshua set up shop and told the children of Israel what land was allotted to them, what land was allotted to them per tribe, per, per, per Moses, per the, 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 the blueprint that God gave Moses, per that, he said to them, after y'all, you got your land, y'all do your thing, y'all do your thing. But as for me and my house, we are going to serve the Lord. See, because I can still hear him. Come on, I still have the mantle of Moses on me. So my ears have not waxed gross. My, my our heart hasn't waxed gross and cold and not to have my ears. I can still hear the, 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 the sound of the Lord. When, when Samuel was a little boy, Eli did not know the voice of the Lord. You know how, how we know that? Because the Bible says in first Samuel, he says that I think it's in chapter three or chapter four. He says, Eli didn't had, excuse me, Samuel had no exposure to God. So if he lived with Eli all those years, Eli could not tell him what the voice of God was because he didn't know it. The Bible says he had no exposure. Let me go there because I was reading that early and I was like, what God? And I was just sitting here thanking God for Eli because had he not exposed, Samuel to the to 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 ask again to go back and lay down again we wouldn't um know who Samuel was today come on somebody he says here that here it is and in and first Samuel chapter three he says and now now Samuel didn't chapter three verse seven now Samuel did not know the Lord did you hear that he was in the church and did not know the Lord. The Bible says he slept in the temple of the Lord and did not know the Lord. And Eli was the priest at the time. What, what, what happened? What happened here? What happened? He says, now Samuel did not know the Lord. Neither was the word of the Lord yet revealed unto him because nobody was teaching him. The Lord came down from heaven himself and began to call Samuel so he could hear him. So he could exercise his ear to hear the voice of the master. Oh my God. And so that he can begin to tell a nation that they need to turn themselves back to God. So that he can go to Jesse's house and begin to pick from not just the seven, but from all of the boys and say, look, I know you got one more. None of these fit the criteria. So we need to be thanking God for Eli because he went back and told him, listen, I, I, let me let me read the scripture because I don't want you to take it from my mouth. He says, therefore, wait a minute. And the Lord called Samuel again a third time and he arose and went to Eli and said, here am I for thou didst call me and and Eli perceived. There it is. He perceived that the Lord had had called the child. And he had not called. Come on. He said he perceived Eli did not know the voice of the Lord, but he said, I I, I think that this might be the Lord because it's not me. And there's nobody here but me and you, Samuel. So it can't be me. It must be the voice of the Lord. Come on. Imagine how intrigued Eli was right in here. He says, therefore, Eli said unto Samuel, go lie down and it shall be if he call thee that thou, that they, that, that, that thou shalt speak, speak Lord for thy servant heareth. So Samuel went and lay down in his place and the Lord came and stood and called as all the other times and Samuel, Samuel, then Samuel answered, speak for thy servant hear it. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? And then he began to tell him, I will do a new thing in Israel, which both the ears of everyone that heareth, it shall tingle. Oh my God. Thank you. Holy Ghost. He said, both the ears of it shall, shall, that everybody that hear it shall tingle, but your ears have to be able to hear. In first John and St. John, he said, my sheep know my voice. 
and a stranger's voice they shall not answer. My sheep know my voice. And so when God begins to speak to us like he did to Samuel and make something tingle in our spirits, we have to learn how to obey. But the Bible says there arose a generation that did not know the Lord. And the Bible says that, 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 that we would be a sinful people and a people who do not know the Lord. But I decree and declare right now that the devil is a liar. I decree that everyone is listening on, on, on this page today and on this station or wherever this, this, this broadcast finds you, that your ears will be open, that he will begin to set your ears on fire with the Holy Ghost, burning with the Holy Ghost to burn up the wax that causes you not to hear. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind the power of the enemy that wants to put wax in your ear by way of your iniquity and by way of your rebelliousness. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that his power be ceased right now, that your ear gates will be able to hear the voice of the Lord and a stranger's voice you shall not follow. In the mighty name of Jesus, and strange sin you shall not get into. Ye shall be protected from the things that you hear. Turn the car around. Go the other way. Go this way. Make a left here. Make a right there. Take the freeway. Don't take the freeway. We shall hear the voice of the Lord. We shall hear the voice of the Lord. We shall hear the decree of the Lord when he's telling us to fast and do some things that we that he has called us to do because he has called us to be great in this earth. He called us to be forces to be reckoned with in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we thank him tonight, God. We thank you, God, for opening up our ears, oh God, and cleaning out the wax, God, so we can hear you, oh God. Taking out the heart of stone and putting in a heart of flesh, God, so we can begin to feel the, 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 the infirmities, God, of the weak, God, like you've called us to. You said the strong shall bear the infirmities of the weak, oh God. And God, to be able to be circumcised, God, a fleshful heart can be circumcised in the mighty name of Jesus. And you can fix a fleshful heart, God, but you cannot fix a heart of stone, oh God. You can put your hands on the chambers of a fleshful heart, but you can't put your hands on the chambers of a heart of stone. Oh God, so remove the heart of stone and put in a heart of flesh in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We need you to unstop our ears, oh God, and we need you to continue to pump the blood from our four chambers in our bodies, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, so we can be mighty vessels of clay for you to use and for you to work through and for you to speak to and for you to speak through in the mighty name of Jesus, God. The world looks like it's going upside down as it should be, as it was prophesied, but we declare right now at the saints of God, we will stand in the mighty name of Jesus and hold up a standard in the mighty name of Jesus against the kingdom of darkness. And we will break through. We will break through. We will break through God. Teach us, God, how to voluntarily lay our flesh out in the mighty name of Jesus to be burned out by you, God. To be burned up by you, God, in the mighty name of Rokerobosata, Yerobokorabasita, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you and we give you praise today. And we honor your precious name and we honor your word, oh God. Give us a hunger and thirst for righteousness, God, and give us a hunger and thirst to read your word, God, and to get it deep down in our bellies in the mighty name of Jesus and not just play with it, God, just because we have a Bible app, not just to play with it, God, just because we have something on our phone, oh God, that we can click it and, and, and click here and click there and read the word. No, God, we need to have the word in our bellies, oh God. We need to have the study of the scripture, God, on the inside, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, so that we can recall and bring it back, God, when we have to, in the mighty name of Jesus. We can encourage our own selves with the word of the Lord. Hallelujah, just like David did, in the mighty name of Jesus. We can encourage and strengthen our own frames in the mighty name of Jesus, because it's you who loads us with benefits daily. Oh, I thank you tonight. I thank you tonight. Get your ears cleaned out. Get your ears cleaned out. 
Nothing, nothing. When wax gets cold, you've got to burn it up. You've got to set it on fire. You, 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 you've got to warm it up so it can dissolve and then it becomes a liquid. And then you can even pour the liquid out in the mighty name of Jesus. And wherever you pour it, if it gets cold again, it's going to, it's going to make, become a solid again. But, the, but, but, but I, what I want you to understand is that it'll be out of your ear. And so it doesn't matter where else it goes, but you need to get it out of your ear tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. You need to get it out of your ear tonight. Day in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It needs to be out of your ear. Hallelujah. Woo. It needs to be out of your ear tonight. Hallelujah. Set us on fire, God, with the Holy Ghost. Set us on fire and fill us up with the Holy Ghost, God. Put a Pentecost down in us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, how we need the Holy Ghost, God. God, we need to know what the shepherd sounds like. God, because we are the sheep of your pasture, God. And we need to know what the great shepherd is saying in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. And so as we, the filling station, push, us, push away the plate tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus and get ready for watch night prayer tomorrow night, God, we pray, God, that you would begin to speak to us individually, God, that you would begin to shut our flesh down, God, and, and, and just chop it up, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, because we we want to be used by you. We we want to hear from you, God. We 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 we, we want to know you, God, in a very special way. Oh, we thank you today. Oh, we thank you today. Give us strength, God, on the journey, God. Give us strength on the journey to destiny, God. Give us strength on the journey to destiny, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heal our bodies on the journey to destiny, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Strengthen our joints and our frame, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, strengthen our phalanges, God, and our hip bone, God, and our knees in the mighty name of Jesus. So So we can walk thou before you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus and be thou made perfect like you told your servant Abraham, God. Hallelujah, because his ears were not wax cold, God, but they could hear everything you said. Oh, and we need our ear to be like that in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. And we give your name the praise, the honor and all the glory. Listen, people of God, get your ears cleaned out. Get your ear together. Get your ear together. I said, get your ears together so so that when he tells you to turn the car around, when he tells you to go to the left or to the right, you can have the the, the power, the strength, the ability to do just what he says in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, That thing hit me so hard because I was just driving and a zombie like spirit came over me and the spirit of the Lord said right then and there, he said, this is what happens to people when they do not listen to what I say, when they do not not hearken to my voice when they do not say I made a way of escape I I told you to turn around twice it were two uh, uh, hooks in the road where I could have turned around twice right there between Allen and Simmons on Cheyenne and I did not take the advantage of it I just kept the car rolling and after so long when he started talking to me I just kept driving and just just I didn't ignore it I heard it but I was like oh my god and then when I turned around went to the store they didn't have the chicken pieces I wanted he said I told you that's what I was wanting him to say I told you so he didn't say nothing he didn't say nothing he didn't say nothing we could we could limit we could stop the the, the harvest of disobedience if we would just be obedient to God I want to be obedient to him listen we are fasting tomorrow January 25th 2017 it's a watch night service and we've been having watch nights for years, I'm talking about the church at large, been having watch nights. And, and why is it that watch night is only on New Year's Eve? The devil is a liar. We should be watching and praying all the time. Paul said, pray without ceasing. And, and, and so we shouldn't just be having watch night service just because it's New Year's Eve. See, we can't do what everybody else has done. We can't fall into the trends that everybody else has fallen in. We, somebody's got to stand up and dare to be different. And so we having watch night service tomorrow night. Join us in prayer at 630. We will be tuning in live so you can hear us and join us and pray with us and watch with us in the mighty name of Jesus, the mighty move of God, because God is doing some powerful things and we want to be with him in the mighty name of Jesus. He's not just producing Cadillacs and Lexuses. Come on. He's producing power. Come on. He's producing fruit, the fruit that's in our wombs, God, that, 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 that he said that we shall be blessed.
blessed by. Come on. That's what the Lord is doing now. That's what he's doing now. Come on. And so don't be tricked by the by false prophets that's telling you what you're going to have just because it's 2018. Don't be tricked by the false word from the prophets telling you what you're going to have. Don't do that because this is this is this, this month right here. Don't be tricked by Daniel fast is going on all over the land. Now, if the Lord told you to do it, then amen. Have at it and do what he says to do. But don't be tricked just because it's January and everybody's giving their first fruit fast. No, no, no. Make sure the Lord has called you to do such a thing at such a time as this. Thank you. God bless you tonight. Have a wonderful evening. I love you. Keep praying for us and we will absolutely keep praying for you. Good night.